was war from God bless America right on to the ice. Only 16 seconds into the game, this is what it looked like, and it turned out to be the rest of the game the same way, a real clutch and grab kind of hockey game. Quebec goaltender Mario Gosselin came up big early with help from his teammates. The power play push as the Flyers come up empty. Michel Bergeron giving advice cheap. Great saves there, but the Flyers do cash in first. Len Hackborn will center it to Murray Craven right on Goslin's doorstep, and he will put it in and then poke Goslin in the face. Hurt him a little bit, but he came right back. It's one nothing Flyers. 21 seconds later, Quebec ties it up. Peter Stasny centers to Alain Cote in front. He blasted past Pelle Lindbergh, and it's 1-1. Quebec took a 2-1 lead near the end of the first. This shorthanded goal, Dale Hunter to Brent Ashton. He beats Lindbergh to the stick side. It's 2-2, period two, belongs to the Flyers. Joe Patterson gets the rebound away from Peter Stasny and ties the game. And then in the third, the Flyers took the lead when Peter Zezzo, controlling the power play, passes across the ice to Ilkis in the Sala. He fires it easily past Goslin on the short side. 3-2 Philly at that point. Three of their four goals on this evening were on the power play side. 4-2 final. They go up two games to one in that best of seven series, game number four. Philadelphia takes the lead eight minutes into the first period as the Flyers' Murray Craven scores on Quebec's Mario Gosselin, who is hit in the neck by the stick of Joe Patterson. And although Gosselin stays down for several minutes, he was able to continue. And just 21 seconds later, the Nordique tied up. Peter Stasny in front to Alain Cote, who fools Pelle Lindbergh with the changeup, and it's 1-1. There were 17 penalties in the first period alone, leading to Quebec's second goal, shorthanded. Brett Ashton converting the two-on-one break into a two-one lead for the Nordique after one period. And up in the second period on the power play from the faceoff, Ed Hospidar with a shot. Joe Patterson is there for the rebound. Goslin with little chance, and it's 2-2. Midway through the period, another power play and another goal as the Flyers' Peter Zezel feeds it across to Ilka Sinisalo, who snaps it in the short side to give Philadelphia a 3-2 lead after two. And 13 minutes into the third period, the Flyers make it a two-goal lead with their third power play goal of the night. This time it's Brian Propp with a soft shot from the point that gets past Mario Gosselin to make it 4-2 Philadelphia. se tirailler en entrant dans la zone des Flyers de la droite de Rich Sutton. Et il a commencé à discuter. C'est Murray Craven et Randy Moore. Ouais, et ça a commencé tout de suite après la deuxième période. Voilà. Et ça va provoquer un affrontement. Il fallait s'y attendre. C'est Marsh et Côté qui sont tombés dans les bras l'un de l'autre. Marsh n'a qu'à priser la mise en échec de l'un côté. Il y a eu l'attroupement aussitôt derrière le filet de se manifester d'un côté comme de l'autre. Et au cours de cette pense, je vous laisse en prendre à Peter Stachny. Sivigny est entré dans la mêlée. Il est repoussé plus loin par Bob Frost. Ben, finalement, ça, ça paraissait absolument inoffensif. Mais là, j'ai l'impression qu'il y a quelque chose qui va commencer. Ouais. C'est toujours dangereux lorsque les joueurs des deux équipes sautent sur la patinoire en même temps. Et Richard Sévigny, lui... Euh... 